is that the tape machine that you're recording on? <laughs> <coughs> One of them. <laughs> no, it's uh, that's what Toby uses for his um, it's where he demos a lot of his stuff on it. I think he bought it for ten bucks, and it used to belong to Jack Ellis. We, we can just see what's on there at the moment, maybe. Well, the other night we were um, we were working on a song, and we were trying different arrangements, and Toby was Toby was using this to capture the arrangements so we could listen back to them. You can't take this side. That's right. I don't get that, that kind of take dictaphone quality with, you know, digital recording mechanisms, I don't think. Normally when you record, you, you, you demo the songs quite carefully, so by the time, by the time you record, the, re the recording of the song would be fairly close to the demo, but just sound more hi-fi. But, but we haven't got anything like that this time. Another part of this new approach is that we've left a lot of space for, um, I mean, the songs aren't completely finished on, on purpose. These are, this is kind of Pat's set up here, these amps. So um, this is the amp that he uses to play with live, but he also uses this Marshall cabinet for stuff which gives things a bit of an edge to his bass sounds. That sort of long note after the dun dun yeah. sounds a bit funny to me. Maybe I'll, I'll stick to like what I was doing before. It's a bit like going fishing, but the good bits that I just know, you know, because it like it livens you up every time you play it. The point of doing the record this way is it to actually make the the recording and the creative part the same moment, which doesn't happen that much just just because of the economics of of the way in which records are made. So over here we have our guitar snow. Uh, guitar orchestra. I guess every time we go to record, we try to get as many guitars as we can, just so that we've we've got lots of different things to try. But I always end up really using my old jazz master a lot. Show us. This is the this is my jazz master. That one there, 1961. So that's um, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm used to playing it so much that I end up getting a lot out of it. But that's the one that I end up using. But it's good to have other ones just for for playing around with. I guess we've been thinking about these songs for quite a long time and thinking about how they could sound and our rehearsals and songwriting have been quite loose. On our last record, Casino Twilight Dog, I think to some extent the, de the demos have a little bit of a magic to them which is something we found it hard to recreate when we actually did the album. So we've we've tended to try and try and let those songs breathe a bit before we get in here so that hopefully that magic will be captured on the album rather than the demos. <laughs> <laughs> 